I'm not convinced about the un unmasked uh, head sculpt. Uh, probably not going to be going with that one, but I just printed it to to have it as an option. What's triggering me is that uh, because he's supposed to stay, you know, with the head down, the hair should be falling, falling down. So I always get triggered if I see it and it's not falling down. But the mask the help sculpt is very very nice. You know, so most likely we'll be going with that one. Okay, now for Batman, we're actually going with um, the blue and gray uh, look, let's say, for the outfit. Meaning we'll be having some, um, simply some uh, bluish paint on the cowl. In order to do that, I, I will be missing uh, a black Templar with a, another contrast paint, so I actually have to two blues, but uh, this is to poly polish, I believe, so I'll be using uh, these two together. And this color, based on how the model looks, we can also use it for um, uh, Bane's hand, you see, because uh, it looks like, okay, I have some fingers, then I have this, um, let's say, dark grey glove and uh, whatever those details are, so we'll try to keep those separate. Meaning we'll be using Black Templar, or maybe Black Templar with this, yeah. So maybe Black Templar with this for Bane, for all these things on Bane. And uh, this for Batman's uh, cowl, gloves and uh, uh, shorts and boots. Yeah. For the suit, I'm actually thinking using this one to make it like a, like a grey. So we'll be applying the blue now. Dark, so I'm going with that. I'm going to put it on the brush with this. Okay, so I'm going to put it on the brush with this. I'm going to put it on the brush with this. I'm going to put it on the brush with this.
So we're going to start with um, that goodish color. Okay. That brown. I think it's probably too blue, so we're going to have a black wash afterwards. We're going to have a grey contrast. And we are using the same one, Bane, uh, all over his mask except for the eyes. Now we're gonna come with some skin colors and because uh, I want to paint them more exaggerated I'm actually going to be using a little bit more, uh, let's say, fake colors.
I'm gonna be applying some gloss now, whatever I want gloss, meaning the eyes, um, the teeth. Now, for the bodies, most of them I have primed with uh, Mechanical Standard Grey, so it's just a spray version from Citadel, uh, meaning everything that belongs to the bed and uh, the bottom part of Bay. For the upper part, I used some lighter color because he's showing a little bit of skin. I actually use this one, it's something like a flesh tone. I'm not uh, crazy about it as it's uh, a little bit thick, but in the end I think it's gonna work. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of a yellowish, yellowish tone, that's why normally I don't use it for realistic characters. But we are not planning for, uh, for realism this time around, that's why this will actually work just fine. And in order to make our life easier, we're gonna cheat uh, quite a bit right now. By uh, applying some highlights, we're gonna do the top part of Bane uh, first, just because we're actually doing some shading to get some dimension into this skin. When you want to do a skin tone fast, that's the idea, that's the whole idea. So you just prime with a skin tone, let's say color, and then you should shade with something. I'll be using this one, Rikla and the Flesh Shade, because actually when I uh, did a head earlier and I used the one from Army Painter, it turned up with a little bit more gloss than I wanted to which looks fine on the armor but not so much on the skin that's why now for the body i'm gonna be using this one from citadel which is not gloss 100 percent and we're probably gonna correct the um, the um, hand later on so after you apply a shade meaning it that will actually show up all the details we're gonna uh, dry brush with some colors probably a lighter skin tone I want this to look cartoonish, so we're not going for that uh, realistic look. I want, uh, and because of that, I actually want the contrast between the colors to be a little bit stronger than usual. So, uh, then I'm just using a big brush to make my life easier. And just picking it up and applying it on wherever it's the skin. Really doesn't matter if you go outside of the line because uh, we're gonna put some dark color on it. We're going with the, um, let's say almost black look for Bane, meaning everything will uh, be some shades of uh, black on his, um, on his outfit. So that's why it doesn't matter if you touch the touch the rest. Now for the moment I just want this uh, thing to give me the, to bring out the details that are sculpted in the skin. That's obviously too much. Um, the whole idea with washes, yes this is a wash, is to not let it uh, necessarily pull. So now that I applied too much there, I'm actually not going to back, go back into the um, pot. I'm just going to pick some of this up and spread it around on the other flesh. Yeah, don't let it pull and dry like this. That's probably his best. I don't know what this is. Doesn't matter. So apply, apply this flesh tone all over. Because we're gonna come with some other colors on top, obviously, uh, we can just use this as a shade 
everywhere, including the backpack, so you don't need to, to stress too much about it. The whole idea of the shade is uh, that it will settle into whatever is um, sculpted very deep, like a line, whatever lines or recesses it is, and uh, they're gonna show up when, when, uh, when it's dry. So for the moment this is fine for bait. You see how he looks. So just put him aside and let him dry. For Dane and his pants, uh, we're gonna go with a darker wash. Uh, it's a dark grey actually, it's not silver. I just accidentally sprayed some silver on this. So you see it's almost black. We're the same going, going to be applying this wash all over. The belt was silvery, so uh, we will be applying the wash on it as well and just dry brush it with silver at the end. We're gonna do, as I mentioned, this model is very beginner friendly, meaning you don't want to um, waste too much time and doing this wash and then uh, base color wash and then dry brush another color, it's actually the quickest way to get nice looking models. We're gonna be applying a different finish on his boots because they were more uh, glossy, let's say, to mimic the look of leather. But that will be after after he dries. And the same wash, we're gonna be using it on the, on his body, on the clothes part. Yes, so after he, after the wash that we have used now dries because you see it's a pigmented wash this one i'm using so i'm not using something like nano oil which although it's a let's say the gray or dark gray wash it's actually not that pigmented so that behaves actually like a wash and you'll see it on the recesses this one it's a it's a little bit of a stronger color and it will actually dye the model uh, black, you see, it's going towards black. And this is fine, so this is Bane right now. So let's bend right now. Now the upper body is quite uh, dry, so we're gonna be using a mix of this to to get some highlights in. Again, we're going quite light and quite contrasty because. Uh, not going for a realistic look. The techniques are pretty much the same, but uh, we're just going with higher contrast and faker colors. So I'm just coating my brush really well, wiping on, on a napkin. Same principle apply, I start somewhere where if I make a mistake, it's not the end of the world. It's very light and I still got too much on my brush, so I'm gonna wipe some of it off. And then you slowly I think I can get, get rid of this. You slowly brush it over. You see? So you want it to pick up the high points of the muscles.
We can apply it uh, on the vest as well, even if we're gonna use a contrast color later on. What's gonna happen is that where we have the highlights, it's gonna uh, show up as a different color, which is exactly what we want. It's gonna show up highlighted. So get all these spots in. Yeah, that's nice. So there's nothing to it, just brush it over it, let it pick up automatically whatever the sculptor put in. So this is it. And now if I can find this, I want to do it briefly on his hands, yeah. Briefly not to touch Batman because we already painted Batman. Should I do some Batman? Okay, I did some Batman as well. But primarily on his hand. gonna look nice. So I apply the second layer, layer of apothecary white on this. More focus. That's why it's a little bit darker and dirtier, which is exactly what we want. Now I'm wondering what color to put down. I would create a little bit of variation and put grey on the vest and put some military green on the harnesses, just to have something else. I'm not going for super accuracy, so I'm not really sure how it's supposed to be. Yeah, so using military grey, no, military green. I'm going to be applying that on all, this on all the harnesses. Yeah, this may be a little bit tedious because he's small. So I'll put you some music and I'll put me some music. And speed up this.
Now for the metal parts, we're gonna go back to that um, mix of uh, Celestium Blue, two parts, that seems to have been ideal, with uh, Black Templar, which is somewhere. Where's my Black Templar? Here it is. So I'm applying this all the all the metallic parts and again his fingers.
Okay, so obviously let it dry now um, quite fine. We still got uh, to do this part. We probably have, I think I'll coat it with white right from the very beginning because I want to do like a nuclear effect, let's say, radioactive effect, sorry. So I will be needing um, needing a white base. It would, it would just go better than, uh, than this. I don't want to use my... Uh, I don't want to use my opal skin. This is good enough, the dark scent from, uh, from Vallejo. Just to apply it all over and give it make it more white uh, you probably noticed what I'm doing when I, I'm starting always with the most uh, difficult part where you need to pay attention uh, just to get it out of the way you know it's just a general rule and uh, the most difficult parts when you're doing stuff with multiple colors is where obviously where they get together because um, you need to pay attention not to get color transfer so it's the same here. Uh, I'll be doing that part blue. That's why I left it out for the moment. And uh, I'm doing the rest with this uh, very light yellow. And only after it dries, I'll be able to put some green and some bright yellow to get that uh, radioactive effect. For him, I'm actually going to go with this purplish because I'm putting Black Templar on top to have it darker. using Black Templar on his pants. Pretty much with a, with a fat brush, but um, on the margins where it meets the belt, uh, I'm paying a little bit of attention and using a fine brush.
Yes, and you see what Black Templar does. Um, it's quite transparent, so it's a good color uh, to just go into the details. And because we put that uh, highlight in, you see what's happening now when I apply it on top of it. You're still gonna get a highlight. Now we're gonna paint the metallic accents on Bane using this color.
for the radioactive effect on Bane's uh, backpack, yeah, we're gonna use a mix of this. And I actually have some uh, fluorescent, but I'm not really sure what it does, so we'll see if we can use it or not. Yeah, it's more bluish, so we're probably not gonna be using this. Um, but yeah, something like this, this I'll try this together, and if uh, we want some uh, more dimension, we're gonna use some more green. Try to work fast uh, while there's still, uh, let's say, a little bit wet, so that it will help with the blending. You can start with whatever color first, it doesn't really matter. But we just want to work a little bit fast. And obviously you're applying the darker color to the margins and the lighter color in the middle. And then when they meet with Let's dry a little bit. We're gonna dry brush this with silver and then we're gonna do some more uh, glow effect. And we're gonna be applying some of the green where the metal is very close, just to give like a glow effect, you know, because it's like supposed to glow. Uh, we're gonna apply the yellow, sorry, because it's more intensive. That's why I overdid it with the um, silver so that it will show up. And just at the very edges, blend it a little out to give it like a, like a glow. We're gonna apply the yellow. Now for Batman, you want to shade him as well, but we're gonna use Nan Oil. As I mentioned, Nan Oil is not that pigmented, although you see it's dark, it's not that pigmented, which, meaning it will not make him uh, too dark, because we're going for that outfit where um, it's gray and um, blue. So you just want the Nan Oil to show the details, but not make him, you, you can see. Yeah? I'm still s seeing a lot of the gray. I'm just beginning to see the details because of the shape.
So for the ray brushing Batman, I'm actually going to go in with straight white. I try some other colors because I have some lavender and some gray, but uh, it's too, they're too dark for him. So we're just gonna be using some uh, Proxetti white, which is a dry color and the Citadel, the uh, big dry brush. Yeah. Because it's dry, I'm just wiping it off. Uh, it shows up a little bit gray because I've been playing with the other colors. Like always, start on the back or somewhere it's not that visible and just go lightly. Again, what we want, we actually want a higher contrast. So don't be afraid to really go at it and have it showing. Because I'm not going for realism, I'm going for comic book style. On the pants and on the boots and everything that's uh, blue, you can actually go very heavy handed because we're gonna come with the blue on top of it. And because of that, you want it showing. So over here, I'm actually gonna go really heavy handed. That I think I'm gonna make some flesh tone. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I think it's the flesh. Ah, no, it's ba it's bane hands, so we won't even be seeing that, it's, which is fine. Now, going back to Batman and using Tassel Light Blue, all the parts that are supposed to be blue, we're gonna paint them with this contrast paint. Because it's contrast, it's gonna settle some more in the recesses and have everything else showing up. So the cape, everything, you, know, you just paint it blue. And you see what's happening because we have uh, that highlights and shading underneath. It's gonna show up immediately very highlighted and very shaded, let's say. That's why I'm saying it's an easy 
model to paint if you're using this uh, this technique. Yeah, I hope it picks it up. You see already the shading, the shading and the highlight. Obviously let them dry now and what we're gonna do uh, because we need to let them dry is uh, wherever you want to put the yellow on the logo and the belt, if you're going with the yellow ones, I will, uh, you need to put some white 
and uh, let it dry uh, well. We're actually going to be using that uh, uh, that same white uh, from uh, which is dark sand. Change my mind in the meantime. I'm going to be using this because I know it's very pigmented and it will um, show up properly. Sorry. So using a fine brush, wherever I know I want to put the yellow, I'm going to be painting it uh, white first. I'm going to be using a contrast yellow, that's because it's the only one I have. That's why I want the white that's already down to be as smooth as possible. Otherwise the contrast paint being transparent, it will show up any unevenness. Now, as Batman, uh, Batman's belt uh, is pretty dry, we're gonna come with man oil. And apply it all throughout just to get some, some of the details back. Chest emblem I'm using this color. So it's like this, just let it dry. We're gonna come obviously on the bat logo and on the fins and a couple of more accents with uh, Black Legion, which is the black, but for the moment, just let all this dry. Now for all the black accents, like like for example, the fins and the logo, uh, and Bane's boots, I'm going to be using uh, Black Legion.
The base we're gonna do in a very simple manner. Basically, I'll be uh, dry brushing this and the white uh, on the on the rocks. Yeah, and this white on the rocks, and then on the rocks we're gonna put something like uh, this uh, this ink that will make them look wet. And uh, this will just be dry brushed with gold to make it look metallic-y.